It's a busy intersection. So busy that some residents even avoid it. So busy that you're in for a wait if you want to make a turn on or off Hyde Park Road. So Residents so like Don and Marilyn are tired of avoiding the intersection and believe that traffic lights are the solution. You've got to be a kamikaze pilot because it's just ridiculous trying to get across that street. I moved here from Toronto and I thought the traffic in Toronto was bad, but this is just as crazy out here. Don and Marilyn are not the only residents asking for traffic lights at this intersection. So far, over 600 people have signed a petition begging City Hall for the installation of traffic lights. City staff want more information after Hyde Park widens. It's turning into a four-lane road and isn't expected to be completed until April 2015. We do need uh, the opportunity to uh, review it, uh, you know, post the construction that's underway currently and, you know, to provide a, a new and updated uh, review and, and determine whether the ward is, is indeed there or not. Ward Councillor Matt Brown sees the challenge of the intersection, but is also willing to wait for more information from staff. There is certainly a congestion problem. Uh, some people call it uh, a parking lot, and uh, that's why uh, the significant work is, is underway now, uh, and, uh, and, and that's part of the solution. This waiting makes Don and Marilyn frustrated. And we almost had a collision, so it kind of ended my uh, trying to run to get through. I'm very nervous out there. I think they've had enough information to do it. I think they've done enough studies. And uh, with another 300 plus houses coming in here, I think it's, it'd be the wise thing to do before a serious accident happens. The committee gave the installation a red light, but council makes the final decision next meeting. For Inside London, I'm Robert Springett.